hello dear friends welcome to my channel today's discussion is catalan constant catalan constant is denoted by g equals to beta to b n equals to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power n divided by 2n plus 1 whole square so friends i hope that you know this constant very well because it is very important important for all mathematicians or physics students so Where beta is the Dirichlet beta function. This beta function is Dirichlet beta function. And numerical values of the Catalan constant is this. This is the numerical values. It is it is not known whether G is irrational, let alone transcendental. G has been called arguably the most basic constant whose irrationality and transcendence Catalan constant was named after Eguen Charles Catalan who found quickly converging series for its calculation and published a memo on it, is, it in 1865. So very interesting and now I discuss uses of Catalan constant. In low dimension topology, Catalan constant is 1 by 4 of the volume of an ideal hyperbolic octahedron and therefore 1 by 4 hyperbolic volume of the com complement of the white hat lead. It is 1 by 8 of the volume of the complement of the board mean rings in combinatorics and statistical mechanics it arises in connection with counting domino tillings spanning trees and hamiltonian cycles of grid graphs in number theory catalan constant appears conjectured formula for the asymptotic number of primes of the of the form n square plus 1 according to hardy little hoop conjecture f and catalan constant also appears in the calculation of the mass distributions of spiral galaxies so friends it is also used in astrophysics now friends g equals to ti21 equals to 0 to 1 tan inverse t by t that implies it is inverse tangent integral. Srinivasa Ramanujan extensively studied Catalan constant. G equals to half into 0 to 1, 0 to pi by 2, d theta dx divided by root over 1 minus x square sin square theta. So friends, proof half into 0 to 1 0 to pi by 2 d theta divided by dx root over 1 minus x square sin square theta can be written as half into 0 to 1 0, 0 to 1 dv divided by root over 1 minus v square into root over, root over 1 minus x square v square dx and v is equal to sin theta so dv is equal to cos theta d theta so dv is equal to root over 1 by 1 minus v square equals to d theta because cos theta is equal to can be written as uh, 1 root over 1 minus sin square theta or root over 1 minus sin square theta is equal to 1 minus v square so d theta is equal to dv divided by root over 1 minus v square that's why i just changing the limit because when 0 say sin theta is equal to 0 then it is 0 when sin theta is equal to pi by 2 it is pi by 2 so the limit is changing and i get dv divided by root over 1 minus v square into dx divided by root over 1 minus x square v square because sin square theta is equal to v square I hope it is clear. Okay. And now 
half into 0 to 1, 0 to 1, dv divided by root over 1 minus b square, dx divided by root over 1 minus x square b square can be written as half into 0 to 1 dv divided by v into root over 1 minus v square 0 to v du divided by root over 1 minus u square. Where I take x v is equal to u and dx is equal to du by v and if you if I change when it is 0, when x is equal to 0, so it is 0, when x equals to 1 then it is v. So integral sign is this way. Now it can be written as root over sin inverse inverse b because root over 1 minus u square du divided by root over 1 minus u square is equal to sin inverse b. So 0 to 1 v divided into root over 1 minus v square sin inverse b dv. So v is equal to sin theta take and dv is equal to cos theta d theta. So I get uh, half into 0 to pi by 2 theta into sin theta d theta. And sin theta is equal to 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2. So half 1 by 4 0 to pi by 2 theta d theta and cos theta by 2 sin theta by 2. So friends, I can write half 1 by 4 0 to pi by 2 theta d theta and cos theta by 2 sin theta by 2 is equal to 1 by 4 0 to pi by 2 theta d theta tan theta by 2. Because I just divided by cos theta by 2 in both sides. So cos theta into cos theta by 2, cos theta is cos square theta by 2 and sin theta divided by sin, sin theta divided by cos theta by 2 is equal to tan theta by 2. So that's why I get in here tan theta by 2. Just numerator and denominator cos theta by 2 multiplied. So, uh, taking tan, tan theta by 2 is equal to y, so it, it, it will be tan inverse, so, uh, it is y and tan theta d, d, and d, d, uh, d, dx of tan theta is equal to 6 square theta by 2, half into 6 square by theta by 2 into d theta, so half into 6 square by 2 to th th theta by 2 means it is cos square theta by 2, so d theta divided by cos square theta by 2 is equal to dy, so d theta by cos 6 square theta, this is by 6 square theta, theta and half, 1 by 4 over. so 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 4 1 by 2 is cancelled from here and another, another way, another way half into sorry half not 1 by 4 6 square by theta by 2 so 1 by 4 is can cancelled because tan theta by 2 is equal to 6 square theta by 2 and th ha, uh, theta by 2 when i derivative with theta by 2 is equal to half okay so it is half into 6 square theta by 2 and and theta is equal to can be written as theta by 2 so theta by 2 is equal to tan inverse y and so 1 by 4 term is cancelled so tan inverse y divided by y 0 to 1 is equal to ti to 1 this is the value is g i hope it is clear for everyone